Hi, my name is Brandon Mitchell, and I'm an informatics major. And I'm a freshman this year, and I've been seeing a lot of people having trouble with SSH Secure Shell. Um, this pretty much is just an FTP program. It allows you to put files onto the internet. It's like if you have a folder on your desktop, and you put documents or pictures or music into that folder, well, when you open the folder, you can see all the information there. This works the exact same way as the FTP or the SSH Secure Shell. So what you want to do first of all is we're going to download the SSH which is done by this website. Um, you can get it from OnCourse or if um, you don't have it you can find it directly from the site. So what you're going to do is when you go to this website you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on Putty for Windows. Okay, It's going to take you to a different uh, page it looks like this. If you uh, click on login, if you haven't logged in, it'll take your login screen. If you have, like I have logged in, then it will take you to a page that looks like the one that's about to load. Anyways, when you get to the next page, you're going to see a, a box at the bottom that says I uh, click here to download. So after you download it, it will come up and say that uh, it'll ask you do you want to run it or save it depending on your browser but make sure you save it so in case something goes wrong or you need to reinstall it then you always have that so right now I'm running Windows 7 which is very similar to Windows Vista or if you run an XP you're gonna, it'll work very similar so we're going to click on that and we're going to click on all programs then we're going to click on SSH secure shell then we're going to click on secure file transfer client so now I see a lot of people who always ask me, "What's the? How do we log in? Or um, what's the address for the website?" Well, I'm going to teach you a very quick method of uploading to a website with only using your passphrase. It's very simple. So we're going to start by using this by clicking File, Profile, Add Profile. I recommend typing a name like IU Mercury or some along those lines, just so you can. Uh, refer to. It. So then you're going to click Add to Profiles. Now we're going to come here at File, Profiles, Edit Profiles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type in the name of the server address, which is mercury.uits.indiana.edu. So we we'll type that. And type in your username that you use to log on to the school account with. So th this would be mine, but you can use any one. You can use your personal one. So then we're going to click OK. So now, uh, just for a reference, this can only be used on your own your own personal computer. So if you have homework, this is how you upload it. So you do this by how to connect it. You use File, Profiles, then click your Mercury account you just created. So click IU Mercury. So that's going to bring you up a um, a little box says enter password. So enter the uh, the pair passphrase you use to log in to the IU network. Then hit OK. Then it's going to connect you over here. So then you can double click this or whatever you like. So now I've been seeing, I've been hearing a lot of people having trouble with adding files, deleting files. How do I do this? How do I do that? Well, I'm going to teach you a very easy method of editing information on your website or editing a file. What you do is you take maybe this home.html file. We're going to drag it. It works just like if you're dragging from one file folder to the next. So if I were to drag this into here or you know it's just the interaction phase. You can do any of that. It's the same thing. So let's say we want to edit this file. We're going to right click it, open with. You can use Streamweaver. Um, you can use front page. Um, I'm more of a code person, so I use the notepad. And then I can come over here and edit anything I want. So I can edit the title of the page. I can edit, you know, I can add different bullets. So whatever I decide to do, then I save it. And then I can close up. There are two methods that you can bring it back into the remote, into the remote section. One is either coming over here and, um, when you come over here, you always have to refresh this. If you save it, always have to refresh, or else it's just going to bring up the previous, um, the previous way it was. So you need to drag 
this home, so grab it by the left click and drag it over to here. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to replace? Yes. So then we replace it by doing that. Well, let's say we are at home and we want to take all of our information and we want to back it up just in case. So it's always a great idea to back up anything. So we're going to do a control A to select all and maybe we'll create a folder on our desktop maybe called IU Mercury Backup. Okay. So we're going to open up this folder. We're going to come back over here to our uh, SSH Secure Shell and we're going to drag them over here just like this. Now you're going to see down here it's going to tell you the transfer, what's happening, uh, what else it has to download. So, when it, so over here it will tell you what's going on and if you've uploaded something or if you're downloading. Well another question I've heard quite a bit is how do we set permissions? Well I remember in class we discussed about uh, the spider web and how to do the coding but there's really another very easy method of doing it. What I recommend doing is doing maybe a control all in the root directory. So you can either do it if you double click in the informatics but I'm going to do it on the outside just so we can see. We click, we right click and go down to properties. We type, uh, this permission mode might say 644, it might not say anything at all like mine is now. So we're going to type in 755. That's going to uh, read, it's going to write and execute. Okay, so then we're going to click OK. Now that automatically sets our permissions. Okay, so now you can see that it's already finished downloading. So my entire website is backed up over here. So if something were to happen, and I needed to reload it, then that would easily be there. Um, the www folder contains all the information that you're going to need uh, for the website. Whatever's in the www folder will actually be on the internet. So, I recommend that you add a, a profile so that you can log on easier. Um, and I recommend that you um, just kind of play around the program and you know kind of, kind of learn how it works. So it's actually a pretty cool program. Um, just really basic FTP. Uh, well, if you have any questions, need any additional help, uh, please feel free to email me. Here's my email address. And or if you have any ideas that you need need help with, then I can easily upload something and tell you. Well, my name is Brandon. I hope you enjoy this. Enjoy your evening.